Hey, everybody, welcome to another episode on the AI Guide, where we focus on the human impact of AI and great human impact story today with a real cool story about a major step forward in AAM, Advanced Air Mobility. So I know my audience will like this story. The headline is SpaceX-backed flying car startup gets FAA nod. So this is a huge deal, folks. The company is called Aleph Aeronautics. It's out of San Mateo, California, and they have been working on a flying car, a literal flying car. So check this out. Pre-orders for a flying car have soared in recent months. This has led industry experts to question how close we are to small passenger vehicle flight. Aleph Aeronautics, a company backed by SpaceX, specializing in the production of flying cars, has achieved 2,850 pre-orders for its electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL vehicle. The firm is also backed by Tesla investor and venture capitalist Tim Draper. Based in San Mateo, Aleph Aeronautics is allowing customers to pre-order its two-seater flying car, the Aleph Model A, online with only a $150 deposit. The car is expected, however, to be priced at around $300,000. As of today, said Jim Duchovny, Aleph CEO, we have a little bit more than 2,850 pre-orders with deposits down, which makes it the best-selling aircraft launch in history. More than Boeing, Airbus, Joby Aviation, and most of the other EVTOLs combined. And we'll talk about the other EVTOLs in a minute. Aleph is also developing a four-passenger sedan called the Model Z. It is expected to become commercially available for the much lower price of $35,000 in about 10 years. So that gives you a very good idea of the arc of technology from a cost perspective. The first one is super expensive with something new. And once it hits mass production, much more affordable. Over the last year, Aleph has been recognized for the significant progress it has made. So by the way, if you like this so far, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon, link below. We really need your help to support and grow this channel. Thank you so much. The company first unveiled a half-size model of the vehicle at Mobile World Congress, catching the attention of consumers and automakers worldwide. So Mobile World Congress is the biggest show of its type. It's an electronic show specifically focusing on communication in the world, and it's in Barcelona, Spain every year. Ducovny believes the Model A will be the world's first flying car, as most other vehicles under development resembles something similar to a jet or a drone fitted with wings or rotors. Avni said this will be a regular car, drive it, park it, the look, everything just like a car, except it will also have vertical takeoff. So what are the capabilities of the car? The aim is for the car to be capable of being driven on the road, similarly to a regular EV, at speeds between 25 and 35 miles per hour, as well as used to fly in any direction using its eight propellers, which, where it will reach speeds of up to 110 miles an hour. So this thing will move in the air. As it is expected to weigh just 850 pounds, it can be classed as a small EV, making it much more likely that regulatory bodies will approve the car for flight as early as next year, 2025. Aleph initially started working on its concept car in 2015, producing the first prototype of the Model A in 2019. So that's really what it takes to do something like this, to build an AAM advanced air mobility vehicle. It's about 10 years. But here is the huge point, because it's the only one in this country so far, the U.S., in July of 2023, it was issued with a special airworthiness certificate by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, that's the FAA, 
which allowed the company to fly its Model A in limited locations for exhibition, research, and development. The vehicle falls under the categorization of Advanced Air Mobility, AAM, which is used for technology such as air taxis and vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. However, several companies are hot on the left's tail, and we've talked about these companies before here on this channel. The EVTOL producer Joby Aviation is constructing a manufacturing plant at the Dayton International Airport in Ohio. The company hopes to begin producing up to 500 aircraft a year at Dayton starting in 2025. So this thing is going into production next year also. Joby is focused on the flying taxi market designing its tilt rotor EVTOL to carry a pilot and four passengers at speeds of up to 200 miles an hour. So by the way, this is going to flat out revolutionize air travel. Why? Because this kind of a thing can serve all of the small airports that regular airlines and even regional airlines cannot serve because the airports are too small. This is a complete game changer for rural passengers. Joby expects to launch in cities such as New York and LA by as early as 2025 this coming year. So this is all going to happen very quickly now, and it's been under the radar for almost 10 years already. The German startup Lilium is developing an EVTOL to serve as an air taxi for up to five people with a range of around 300 kilometers, that's about 230 miles for U.S. people, and a top speed of 300 kilometers per hour. That's 230 miles per hour, so it's even faster than the Joby. And by the way, there's plenty of videos of the Joby and Lilium's test flying on online. In December, Lilium signed a Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU, with the air carrier Lu Tanza to explore a strategic partnership on EVTOL aircraft operation in Europe. So in essence, Lilium would become a feeder airline from small airports to Lufthansa at its big airports. The two companies plan to explore ground and flight operations, future aircraft maintenance, as well as crewing and flight training. We are thrilled to explore opportunities on bringing EVTOL flights to Lufthansa customers, said Klaus Rowe, the CEO of Lilium. A few things here. Number one, EVTOL small aircraft are very close to being seen in the air. Number two, there's going to be way, way, way more of these things in the air than regular aircraft. Number three, why are we talking about advanced air mobility and EVTOL on an AI channel? We've talked about this before. All of these things will become self-flying over the next five to 10 years after they get certified for airworthiness. So why does it take that time? Two reasons. One is regulatory approval. So they're just issuing the first regulatory approvals next year for commercial operation of these aircraft. Then they need them to fly for a while with pilots in it. However, substantially automated. I've talked about that on other videos, how the pilots in these EVTOLs will largely be sitting there once they're in the air watching it fly itself. And then as the FAA and other regulatory bodies get confidence in these vehicles, they will become fully automated and fully autonomous. So that's why AI, AI will completely revolutionize how flight occurs. All flights, including commercial, will be autonomous in roughly 10 to 15 years tops. The commercial Airlines with 300 passengers on board will obviously take the longest because of the risk is so much greater, but autonomy will come much sooner to these smaller aircraft, number one. Number two, the main story is about a LEF, and that two-seater can become autonomous much more quickly because that is a true flying car. It's a car that flies <laughs> and it is under a de different regulatory structure than an air taxi. So it will 
become autonomous and be allowed to fly autonomously more quickly than even the air taxis. So this is huge stuff. <laughs> and it's coming starting next year. And over the next 10 years, we're going to see a complete and total revolution in air travel, ultimately completely AI driven. So again, if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. Really need your support. That small dollar support adds up and makes a huge difference. So thanks so much. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.